The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, the FAO, together with the government of Samoa through the Ministry of Natural Resources and the Environment, MNRE, and the Global Environment Facility, GEF, are implementing a four-year project to strengthen the management of Samoa's forestry and protected areas running from 2011 to 2015. The objective of the Forest and Protected Area Management Project, or FPAM, is to enhance the sustainable livelihoods of local communities living in and around protected areas, as well as strengthening biodiversity conservation and reducing forest and land degradation. The project focuses on the improvement of sustainable land and forest management in the village's lowlands and the conservation of the cloud forests in their highlands. The eight participating villages include Ngatai Vai and Tanga, located on the southwest side of Savai, and six villages from Sato Olepai to Vaiboli on the northeastern side. These areas stretch from the coast to Mount Silisili, Samoa's highest mountain peak at 1,858 meters above sea level. Together, these community conservation areas protect up to 13,200 hectares of cloud forest of Savai. They also provide the main water catchment areas for both the northern and southern coastal communities of Savai. The project provides a hands-on approach to enhance the sustainable livelihoods of the local communities by improving their long-term farm productivity and ensuring the sustainable services of their surrounding ecosystem in terms of protection against soil erosion, floods, water supply and maintenance of food security. As part of the project's awareness campaign and planning phase, a three-dimensional model or P3D model for the area of Tanga and Ngataivai was developed during a five-day workshop from the 24th to the 28th of November 2014. 30 participants representing various groups from both villages attended and included village leaders, men, women, youth and farmers. The 3D modeling was used as an enhanced method to raise awareness amongst the participants about the importance of sustainable land management, forest conservation and participating in the process of establishing a community conservation area. The workshop was officiated with representatives from the government of Samoa and FAO and given the spiritual blessing as the usual practice. O fofo anga uma lava tato te faia, o a lava me uma tato te moe miti, ma fua fua ia. A unua malteita inga le anga no le tu, e fai fua lava. The keynote speaker addressed the significance of the project and its value to the future generations of the Samoan people and its ecosystem. Ina ia, a fea ifi na ngalo, o le ma malo le atu nuu, a e meise ila atou o ngalo e inaf nuu, ia, Fasao after the official opening, an overview of the 3D model construction process was presented. <laughs> The 3D model was introduced as an important tool for the participatory development of a spatial land use plan of the village areas, in terms of land management in the lowlands, identification of priority areas for ecosystem restoration, and development of management plans for the community conservation areas and ecotourism projects. Maps and tables were set up in preparation for the tracing, cutting and layout of the cardboard sheets. The table surface was smoothened to support the model in accordance with the width of the map area to be used. As the cardboard sheets and model table were being prepared, carbon copy paper was pasted onto the map of the area, 
With everything in place, the production process was ready to commence. Three groups were required for the process. Group 1 were the traces. The map with the carbon copy was placed onto the first cardboard sheet, which formed the base of the model. The first contour lines of the map was traced onto the cardboard sheet. Two lines were drawn, a solid line for the actual height and a dashed line representing the succeeding contour. This was necessary to achieve correct alignment with the next tracing process on the cardboard sheets. The next set of contour lines were traced onto the second cardboard sheet. This process continued until it reached the end of the contour lines or to the highest point of the model. Group 2 was responsible for cutting. After the tracing, the cardboard sheet was cut following the solid line along the width of the cardboard sheet. This process was very delicate and required very sharp cutting tools. Group 3 positioned the sheets. After cutting, the sheet was placed on the table aligned to the map. Once aligned, it was fixed or pasted onto the table. The model scale was 1 cm to 10,000 cm, with the dimension of 194 cm by 234 cm. Thus, 1 cm on the model was equivalent to 100 m on land. The thickness of the cardboard sheet was 4 mm, with a 20 m interval contour map, which meant one sheet at 4 mm corresponded to 20 m on land. The first sheet corresponded to 20 meters above sea level. The second sheet increased by 4 millimeters or 20 meters more above sea level. And the process was repeated until the highest contour was reached. Once this was completed, the sharp edges of the cardboard were covered or filled with wet tissue paper to add smoothness to the model. The whole model from top to bottom was layered with wet tissue paper glued into place. Upon completion, and when dried, a blank model of the area was created. Using information from maps, coloured string was laid out first to show the roads, rivers and streams. The next part of the process was painting. The model was painted first with two shades of grain. The light shade represented areas less than 600 metres over sea level, and the dark shade for areas more than 600 metres. Areas above 600 meters were referred to as the cloud forest. It is at this point where facilitators and participants discussed what the model should show. Landmarks and other significant features were identified and recorded. A list of features with a corresponding legend was developed. Local knowledge and experience was very important to inform this part of the process. When this was done, the participants used the legend to mark out the identified landmarks with coloured strings, pins and paint. Although facilitators were always on hand, final decisions were made by the participants themselves. After several days of hard work, the P3 model was complete. <laughs> As seen here, villagers who participated in development of the model are able to identify and describe in detail various geographical and man-made features. Specific landmarks are highlighted with a historical account about traditional names that were referred to in the past and how they had physically changed over time. The descriptions also include historical landmarks in areas with economic potential in tourism and agriculture. 
Land use planning naturally becomes the next point of discussion, including access roads, extensions of farmland and natural reserves that protect endangered flora and fauna, as well as support ecotourism. <laughs> An official ceremony was held to launch the model, celebrate its completion and acknowledge those involved in the work. MNRE and FAO officials were also on hand to thank the participants and re emphasize the importance of the model as a resource for the village to support the proper management of the forest. Yeah. Auto of your arm, Tangamata Vai, Yellow to Silsila to Matato Vavayat, Ya Ele Iunga Polton Unga Famo Neva Yas, Pilamona Yaile No No Tainga in a year for Peona Yais Tato Laufano Fatusa, a pay on a Yale or Oma, Ole Langona fear fearful. On our level, we are told to tell you we are fighting on. We are all of them fighting our battle. Fighting on. We are telling you to plan a time. We are trying. We are making a decision. We are making. We are to plan a day. We are trying. We are trying to fight. 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 E <laughs> Said, <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,
le pokalame molifo ilva fitaile ofisa penana la tuvatino ina le poloke ki matano fie o mofo ise filo ina fie fie mo le tu otanga this p3m have proved as a powerful tool it's also a planning tool or a medium of communication a user friendly uh, relative accurate data storage and analysis device for the users including the community and ministries this model is housed at the Tanga Primary School. It will continue to provide all villagers and visitors a visually and spatially enhanced perspective of their environment and enable a more informed approach towards managing their resources.